we need to talk about the Vancouver Canucks. Now, I'm not at home right now. Um, I live in Ottawa, but I am back to my hometown for a week. So I don't have the right setup. I kind of just took hockey things from around the house and put them on the wall to give it any kind of feel. That's not the point. The point is we need to talk about the Vancouver Canucks and we need to talk about them now. So I'm making this video now. You also notice the audio sucks. That's because I don't have the microphone here. I also don't have proper lighting, so I, I'm set up at a window. But that's not the point. The point is we need to talk about the Vancouver Canucks. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, they suck. Okay, so at this point in the season, I'm recording this on Friday, October the 21st or whatever the fuck it is. They are 0-3-2. They're the only team in the league that doesn't have a single win. Yeah, they fucking suck. So, not only have they not won a game, uh, they've blown a lead in every single one. I mean, we, we start out in Edmonton, we blow a three-goal lead. Great. And then the next three games, you know, it's not against Edmonton, we don't have to face Connor McDavid, but we still blow two goal leads. Last night against Minnesota, we don't blow a multi-goal lead, but we blow two one-goal leads. I guess you can call it progress. What I call it is absolute fucking shit. Now, I know I might be coming off as kind of a Steve Dangle copy for the Canucks. I don't intend on making a lot of videos about the Canucks more than the average team on this channel, but they're 0-3-2, and, and I, I have to, I have to. So where do we start? What, what, what's our problem this season? Well, I can tell you our problem is not Elias Pettersson. The last two seasons, he has gotten off to slow starts, but this season, actually pretty good. He looks like he's the only player who has a heart. We have re-signed JT Miller over the offseason to be with us until he's 37, and he fucking reeks. We gotta get him off of that power play first unit. He is like a turnover machine on the power play. We can't get established in the zone because he's making cross-ice passes that get intercepted immediately. He also has three points in our five games so far, which, you know, is good if you're like, you know, a third liner. Miller is not. Uh, I, I don't want to rag on Miller too much because it's not, it's not all his fault. We can look at Bo Horvat. You know, he has four goals in five games. But other than that, not much is happening. He, he's valuing himself as a first line center. He's, a, he's our third best center. He wants like fucking, what, eight, nine million? He has not been good defensively. He literally, the only thing he's done is finish. That's all he has right now. But, you know, it's not all Bo's fault either. Where else can we go? Brock Besser, you know, he's been mid. I've barely even noticed him. What has Besser done so far? A couple assists. I don't think he scored a single goal. Niels Oman has a goal, but Brock Besser doesn't. We can also look at Tanner Pearson, who has done a whole lot of fucking nothing. He hasn't done anything. He doesn't do anything. He literally just skates. And he's not even that good at that! Why did Garland get scratched a couple games ago? He is our best 5v5 player. They don't score if he's on the ice 5-on-5. Five five. But no, we put him back in the lineup. That's all good. He learned his lesson. I don't know what the lesson was, but he's back in the lineup now in place of Niels Hoaglander. We decided to take Niels Hoaglander out of the lineup. We gotta trade Niels. Like, I love Niels and I want him to get a chance. He is way too skilled a player to be first of all on the fourth line and second of all scratch. Hey guys, it's uh, me from the next day now. It's Saturday, uh, which is when the video is going up. Uh, Niels Hoaglander has been sent down to the AHL. Why? And you know, I would make the case that like, you know, Dakota Joshua should be scratched instead or Neil Salman should, but they fucking carried us yesterday. We can't blame the fourth line. I don't know any team that could blame the fourth line. Okay, they're doing what's expected of them, which is not much. Pod Colson hasn't done a whole lot. Kuzmenko looks okay, but he also hasn't done a whole lot. Our forward group was supposed to be like really good, like one of the best in the league this year, but they look like shit. Besides Pedersen, you know, Pedersen's cool. However, our problem with blowing leads lies in giving up goals. So the problem <laughs> lies in the defense. Tyler Myers started the year out uh, with an injury. We don't have Travis Dermott right now. Myers has come back, of course, and played exactly like Tyler Myers does, which is not well. 
Quinn Hughes has been tasked with pretty much carrying the blue line, but it feels like his defense has taken a step back from last year where, you know, he actually figured out how to play defense. Oliver Ekman Larson has been playing, like, pretty well. I've kind of liked his game. He also has as many points as JT Miller, and I don't think I need to expand on that point. I think you guys know how fucking stupid that is. Then we go a little further down the defense. Riley Stillman doesn't do a thing. He doesn't do anything. Kyle Burrows, he had a good game against Washington, which was also the game where, you know, he got fucking, like, legally assaulted. But besides the point, Luke Shen, possibly one of the slowest players I've ever seen. He throws hits. I don't know. We can't expect a lot from him. Tucker Pullman, we can expect even less from. Tucker Pullman should never have been given a contract by us. But that's what Jim Benning does. And it's kind of sad that a lot of this can be pinned on Benning, but also a lot of this can be pinned on Alvin and Rutherford, who, you know, knew that our defense was an issue and said, yeah, we want to get better defensemen. We want to trade for a better defenseman. And all they fucking did, all they did was trade Jason Dickinson for Riley Stillman. Let's fix our defense by getting Riley Stillman. That's the missing piece this team needs. What? Yeah, the defense has always been an issue for the Canucks, but that's not, that's not all. <laughs> Cause we can go even further down to the goaltending. Now Thatcher Demko, he's had a good couple years uh, the, the last couple seasons. He sucks. <laughs> People are so quick to defend goalies all the time. You know, it's not their fault. They got hung out to dry. Goalies have to make tough saves sometimes and Demko isn't exactly doing that. I believe his save percentage now is about like 860 through four games played. That fucking sucks. Uh, Spencer Martin also played a game, and you know, he was looking great about halfway through the game against Columbus, and then imploded, as you know, the, every single Canuck does. Except Elias Pedersen, I love you Elias Pedersen. Really, the issue just lies within the Canucks as a whole. There's no real person, there's no real area to blame it on. Everyone fucking sucks. Except Pedersen. So, where do they go at this point? They are 0-3-2. They definitely still want to make playoffs. There are 77 games left. Wait, I have to watch 77 more games of this fucking team? A home opener is Saturday night against Buffalo. Yeah, we're gonna fucking lose. I wish that I had a solution, but I really don't. Pearson should be scratched for a game. Bring Hoaglander in. Bump Miller down to power play two, which, you know, for Canucks is like not even existent. They don't get time, which is what we need. We need Miller to not get power play time because he can't fucking do it. Oh, I didn't even mention the penalty kill. The penalty kill is ass. Our penalty kill on the year is at like 55%. How? It was bad last year around this point too. And then, you know, Bruce comes in and we kind of get a handle over it. Power play also fucking sucks this year. And you know, you can blame Miller for that. I can blame Miller for that. I'm going to blame Miller for that. But yeah, what happened with Bruce? Where did the Bruce magic go? He, like, called them mentally weak after the third game, and they had a players-only meeting to discuss and figure out what was wrong, and figure out how to win a game. And then they just blew the lead two more times in a row. What the fuck is happening? You know, I've never been to Vancouver, so it's, it's not like I'm rooting for my hometown team or anything. I could have just, like, picked a different team, and I think about that every day of my life. I really hate the Vancouver Canucks. Anyway, I think I covered all my bases there. It's gonna be a long 77 games. It's gonna be a long year. But you know what? There's always next season.